What's up guys, my name is Khan, and we're back today with more Zapekist, and today we're doing a short track theme. We've actually got Scrapman joining us for the first time, so make sure you check out his channel as well as the other guys in the description down below. But we're doing a short track theme, and I decided to do something that also combines with a comment I got about using some math to solve a level. So here we've got my short track, and as you can see, it isn't very big. It's only three jumps and two corners, but the thing with this level is you have to use this equation, 20n times 6 minus n, where n is the jump number. And basically what I've done is made each jump very precisely measured with a very small turn right after it. So if you're going too fast, you will completely overshoot the track, and obviously if you're going too slow, you won't make the jump. Now, the way this works is if you solve this formula, plugging in n for the jump number, you will actually get the appropriate speed you need to do it. So for the first jump, if we plug in n equals 1, we'd have 20 times 1 times 6 minus 1, which would be 5, which would be 100. So for the first jump, we have to do 100 to actually make this jump perfectly. If we go slightly more, slightly less, like maybe 105 to 95, it might work, although you'd probably want to go a little bit faster. And of course, if you go too fast, you're off the edge. Now for the second jump, where n equals 2, it would be 20 times 2, which is 40, times 6 minus 2, which would be 4. So 40 times 4 is 160, and we have to do 160 to make that second jump. And then for the final jump to get into the finish, which is a tiny finish, it would be 3. So it would be 20 times 3, which is 60, times 6 minus 3, which would be 3. So 60 times 3 is 180. And just to prove that, we're going to do it here with the validation. Now, the time isn't exactly a fast time. But of course, I did put some colored lines as well, so you can adjust your braking. But we're going to brake really, really early just to prove the point. So let's get down right to 100. There we go, 101. That's perfect. And you'll see if we take this jump at 101, we should just make it. There we go. Look at that. A little bit over, but good landing. Nice and smooth. And then, of course, we get boosted right back up to the full 200. We can slow down to this one to 160. Perfect. Just like that take the jump and this one you have to take at 160 because there's a break zone right behind it and if you don't hit that break zone you have way too much speed and you just fly right off you'll slide right off and then this one of course 180 let's say 181 right in the middle perfect so you can see it's a very short track it does take like you know 45 46 seconds but that's mainly just due to a lot of hang time did i actually miss it wow i over jumped it so I did put a little bit of a tolerance on each of the jumps, and that's just because I was worried with multiplayer, you know, the physics changes a little bit. But of course, if you want the fastest time, you're going to have to break as late as possible and, you know, be breaking just right before each jump. And that's what'll get you the fastest time. But I'm not going to explain anything to anyone. I figured, you know, the formula's right there. People will figure it out and people can do some math, you know, stretch their brains a little bit and actually survive this track. There we go, 159. That should be perfect. It doesn't look like you're ever going to make it. Oh, you just make it. Look at that. It's crazy. There we go. And then here we go up to 180. I was doing, oh, 174. I might make this still if I put the hands up. The hands up gives you a little bit more height, of course. Uh, yeah, we should be good. Perfect. Excellent. There we go. 46. So anyway, it's a pretty simple track. It's got some math involved. But, uh, you know, hopefully the guys like it and hopefully people can solve this equation. It does come at you pretty quick, but obviously with multiple attempts, you'll eventually figure out, you know, 20n times 6 minus n. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and let's jump right into a public lobby. Alrighty, gents. Here's my short track. It's, uh, nice. I like it. It's pretty easy. Good, it's not, it's not like that it. short. It's like 40 seconds, but it's only like two turns and three jumps. So... Okay. It's it's I turns, that. three jumps, forty seconds. Yeah, that should be your. Uh, it, there's a lot of hang time. Your promotional what... advertisement for your. Yeah, track. exactly. Exclusively on. Uh, Exclusively. <laughs> Amazon or something. I don't know. <laughs> so this is my short track. What is okay? Ooh. Twi oh, do we have to do, with do math? <laughs> what is this? Nice. Maybe. I don't want to do nice. math. Nice. Who? Uh, oh, what? I we have to solve for n. 20 n times, you know, times 6 minus n. Think about it. That's easy. I did not I never come here attention. for math. Yeah, 20, 20 All n. Right. So 20 n. Uh, yeah, any idea? I'm just going to oh, try, okay. trial and error. I see, I see, I see. You I figure, see, I see. I, people were complaining last time I gave away too much stuff. So I'm not giving away anything about what it is. It's just 20 I n am, times, okay. you know, 6 minus n. That's it. You'll figure it out. I'm not smart enough for this. Yeah. He's giving you the speed you have to go at. Okay, just. Yeah, but I don't know what n is. N is the jump number. <laughs> really? So jump one is N equals one, jump two is N equals two, and jump three is N equals three. Uh, I, I figured it out. I've said too much. 
guessing. Uh, Wait, you could also guess. Yes, that works too. Yeah, I'll do some math. Although I didn't get my I'm, university degree by guessing. Wait, do, but both, I, do both of the drums nice. need the that same That is number? a lie. Don't don't lie like that. Yeah, no, that's true. I guessed on some courses. <laughs> do, do both of the jumps require the same number? Well, it's N. You gotta factor in N on each jump. Oh, wait, what? First, first one, you gotta be going 100. There, I'll just... Uh, yeah, I'll I think 100. Uh, I'll just give you guys a bit so of Does that one. mean 200 for the second one? No. 20N times 6 minus N. Oh, 6 minus M. I see, I see. I'm super dumb. Maybe. <laughs> Someone gave me a comment on like a while ago. They're like, you should do a track that requires some math. And I was like, you know what? I wonder because I made that track where I put like the sign that says like 110 or whatever. And I was like, you know what? I could just make a track where the speeds are always different based on like an you know an Guys, exponential. Guys, what's 40 equation. times four? 40 times four, quickly, go go go. <laughs> hey, 160. I need to be going 160 for this one. <laughs> But I did put indicators. I put like the rainbow indicators for the speed. So you could just, you know, theoretically just guess oh each time and oh check no. your break points, right? Oh no. The landing on the second jump is so short. I love all the people who are confused. This is this is the American math system right here. This is this is what this <laughs> is happening. <laughs> the educational system. Oh. Uh, Cosmo oh math no, is something stumbling. different. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> there is some leeway on the on the jumps. There is like about a plus or minus five, but then I figured the text would get too much if I put that in. Right. Well, but, perfect. Yeah. There we go. Okay. All right. Let's see if I got this one right now. I, I don't, Let's I'm, see if I got my math right. I oh, just, no, I, I missed just put the X. I overshot the X. Yeah, you can't do that. You got to have the math right. Well, last time I went just under, and then it's, I didn't make it. It's, so I, I gave myself a little bit of a buffer, and it yeah. was too much. Oh, no. Yeah, it's Oof. just math. It's just math, guys. Everyone chats need, like, this is uh, evil. It's math. <laughs> I don't have my T9 calculator on me. Where's the gas pedal? <laughs> you need your graphing calculator for this one. <laughs> oh, I got it! I need a gas yes! pedal. <laughs> yeah, there's no gas pedal. I keep going, I keep breaking too hard and then not being able to make up the speed. All right, I should put down a time here. I keep trying to do it like perfectly and break it the last second, but I should just like break early and then put down a proper time. That makes sense. Wait, you only need math for the first one? No, all three jumps. No, it's both. You plug in the number of the jump into the formula, oh, and that's no. how fast you have to go. Oh my gosh. For all three, <laughs> yeah. Except, like, I'm going the, the exact speed, and I'm overshooting it, so I feel like you got to go a little bit under. Kind of. It's like it's got, like, a plus or minus five. It's yeah. I it, went 95 on the first... Oh, I got a time. Thank you. Yeah, I went 95 on the first one, and I hit my head. On Cosmo the gave away corner. the numbers in... in uh, I overjumped the last one. People are struggle busting. Yeah, people are struggle busting. It <laughs> is halfway 100. through, and like people are like, "Huh, what do we do?" Yeah, it's 100, 160, 180. That's the that's the three math numbers. If you work it out, I uh, I went 185 on the last jump and overshot it. So the 20 n oh. six minus n. Yeah, there you go. People are getting it. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm doing cheese math in mine though, so like maybe like 115 to jump straight to the next set of boosters on the first I, I, If you could do it, go nuts. But oh, like, trying to I cheese, put breaking huh? lines. I did put the colors so that people could be like, hey, I break it yellow or I break it, you know, if you want to do it that way. But it is math. I missed the ch I, I missed the finish. What? I overshot yeah. it. Is there a fan by the finish? It felt no. like there was a fan. No? no. Okay. That's weird. I feel like there's a cheese here. There's probably a cheese. There could there's be. Only, there's only the one finish, so it's... I might miss... Oh, there we go. I got it. I'm breaking a little late, though. If you break later, obviously... Or uh, breaking early. If you break later, you know, go just the speed right before you hit the ramp, then... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, like, maximizing. I don't Very think... Good. I don't think there's a cheese. I think there's a little bit of corner cutting. That's about it, though. Yeah. Not gonna go arms up. I'm not gonna go arms up. Perfect. There we go. What's up? Breaked later on both of those jumps, so maybe that'll be good. 
Oh, I slid off. Dang it. Wait, you got a 45? What? All right. I did. I did do that. Jesus. Did you do it with the math or did you? <laughs> <laughs> I used the math, man. Yeah. I used the math. The hard part I had with this is I wanted an equation that was hard enough that people couldn't just like, you know, figure it out right away. But then it wasn't so hard that people were like, I need differential calculus to like, well, you know. Solve. I had no clue that we had to like plug the numbers in, but that that made sense once I once I realized that. <laughs> yeah. I was like, what, I are had we, a... what do we sub for N? Yeah, I feel like I had the a time is it's all about when you break to the right speed. Yeah, for yeah, sure. You want to stay as fast as you can before Until breaking. the last second. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. But then if you break too late, even if you get down at the right speed, you still have momentum. <laughs> yep. Yeah, and when I was testing this, I braked, like, super early. I just didn't care because, I, you know, who cares what your yeah, validation is, That's right, right yeah. But, yeah, th that's why I put the brake lines, like, with the colors. Because I'm like, you got to basically oh, be like, no. oh, I need to brake at yellow, and then that'll put me to 100 or whatever. I don't actually know what lines are what, but... Dang. I often miss the finish, like, to the left or to the right. Stop it. Yeah, you got to go straight. Cut it out. Oh, yeah. oh. Forgot about the breaking <sighs> thing for a second. I went to 150 on the second jump and died. It wasn't fast enough. <laughs> <laughs> on your uh, new version of Zapekiss that you're working on, do you still get the brake wobble when you, like, slow down? Do you know that your car, like, slides a little bit? Uh, I haven't tested that, so that might still be in there, yeah. I don't mind I got it. got a better time. That's just a, a result of how the physics work, basically. Because right. if you break, uh, your rear, your back wheels, they lose grip a bit. So it kicks out, but then the game automatically rights itself as well. So you get this oscillating effect. I overslowed for the last bit, and then I jumped sideways because I'm an idiot. Oh. It's Cosmo of 43. Oh. What the hell? Oh, no. He breaks super late. I don't have enough time to work on this new strategy. I found a strategy. <laughs> but I don't have enough time to dial it in. You got time. You got time. Whoops. Are well, you see, still like, breaking? Ideally, you want to find the spot where you can just hold the brake, and by the time you get off the jump, you're at the right speed. Right. Exactly. Yeah. That's yeah. That's yeah. That's, that's but what the, I've been doing. But so, the yeah, speed is the speed out. at the bottom of the ramp, not the top of the ramp. Yeah, but so I'm trying to use the colors on the side to like figure out when to hit the brake. Yeah. Yep. I'll tell you, the first one is right at the, like, right as soon as you pass the yellow, you start the break, and then you'll be at the right speed. But That's a lie. Well, yeah, that's, for, that makes me go way too slow. Oh, really? Yeah. For me, I'm doing I 106 have to do it at, like, the, the end of the orange, for me, at least. Man, Not I need to try the and... Red. Oh, 43.5 is up there. Yep, I got beat. Kaiser. All right, last try. Yep. Yeah, that's pretty much the same for me. Oh, true. Are you still braking when you go up the ramp, Cosmo, or do you let off the brake? I'm braking all the way up, buddy. Oh, so you're actually, like, really, like... Yeah, oh, that's I'm where we're getting close. the speed. I'm braking before the ramp and then letting off right before the ramp. No, no, I'm still yeah. hard on brake when I'm, like, flying off the ramp. Oh, that's where you guys are getting the hard times from, because you're, like... Yeah. You're really... I'm literally like 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 hand breaking off the off the yeah. ramps. That's smart though. Oh please, please no! <laughs> oh no, was I not straight enough? Oh no! I On the last oh, wow. oh man, no, <laughs> GG. I dang, I came seven. Really oh, cool concept, yeah. man. I really like that. This was fun, yeah. Yeah. Oh yep. man. Yeah, it was awesome. God playing the big brain, confusing everyone so he's ganking win. God, it's, it, it, no, was, it was like no. the most basic math formula ever. 60 times N, <laughs> you know, 20 N times 2, 6 minus N or whatever. Like, come on. Come on. <laughs> come on. <laughs> come on. Make sure, of course, if you guys like this kind of content, to hit that like button down below. Hit that subscribe button. Make sure you check out the other guys' tracks and give us themes in the comments if you have any good ideas for future track themes. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you all next time.